Hey guys, um, today's verse, John 14, 1 through 2, says this, Do not let your heart be troubled. Believe in God, believe also in me, that being Jesus. In my house are many dwelling places, or houses as the King James says. If it were not so, I would have told you, for I go to prepare a place for you. Hey guys, welcome to your spiritual caffeine where I give you a dose of the Holy Ghost. Something that you want to drink on, some caffeine, spiritually speaking, to get you jolted up and start the day. If this is your first time, welcome to the Undignified Collective. Welcome, and hopefully that you uh, appreciate the video, get us some blessing out of it, and join that collective as together we strive for excellence in Christ. All right, gang. Hey, I want to tell you two different visions that um, uh, I remember um, friends of mine telling me one is from my grandma uh, my father's mom and the other one is from a former pastor of mine um, so the first one is a vision that my grandmother had where she has since passed away Girl, uh, her name is Mary Ellen Mc, uh, McKinney and she had a vision where God took her up um, above the clouds and she was able to see her dwelling place her house in heaven and she got to I don't know if she got to tour around or how long I don't know but she was able to actually see it and I remember uh, sitting down with my grandma and she was telling me the story and I'm like wow that's pretty cool that God kind of gave you a glimpse of what it's like and if she's probably there now I mean she's passed away so she's probably there now enjoying some of the benefits of what it is uh, in there she has. How cool is that that God just kind of so hey, hang in there. It, it all going to be worth it. The other story um, was, and, and I don't remember much of this one just because, uh, you know, I, I just don't. Um, but I remember he had an out experience, I believe, or a vision. Again, I don't know, remember which one. But anyway, he was, uh, he saw himself after uh, you know, like in the future. So we saw himself and Jesus sitting on a cloud, just kind of overlooking the area. How they're sitting on the cloud, I don't know. Um, but they're sitting there, and they're just beaming with joy and happiness. And it's kind of like radiating. And he, I remember him saying how it was just uh, the, the feeling, the, the, the overwhelming joy and feeling that he got from uh, from that vision. And um, when, I, when I relate that, to this verse it says this do not let your heart be troubled that is a command meaning that there are going to be times when you are tempted to allow your heart to be troubled and trust me there are many times in this world that we can get fearful and worry and our hearts will be troubled i mean if i sit there and dwell on all the stuff that is going on in this world it is crazy i mean granted i've only lived once so i'm not sure how crazy life can get but it's it's some pretty crazy stuff out there that's happening and i'm thinking wow oh my word did that just happen and the stories you hear and the the, the direction you you're, you're told that the country's heading and do not let that means you have a choice of letting it or not letting your heart be troubled you have a choice here guys choose not I'm not, I choose not to be worried. It's a choice I make. Is, is there stuff to be worried? There's always stuff to be worried about. Always. There's always stuff to be worried about. I'm choosing not to be worried about. Not that I'm choosing to put my head in the sand like the ostrich. Uh, not that I'm choosing to avoid it or pretend it doesn't exist. Instead, I choose to face it head on and say well, there are problems that we have and we need to solve them creatively, spiritually, anointedly. Um... But I'm not going to be troubled by it. Because in the end, like my grandmom, one day I'm going to be sitting on my sitting in my house. Who knows what it's going to be? I don't care if it's a, just a porch swing in heaven. Yeah, I don't just get me up there. But one day I'm going to be sitting, hopefully talking to some of you who watch this, and we'll have a conversation about this, that, and the other, and we're going to enjoy ourselves. And that's just one little slice of eternity. Who knows what we'll be, what we'll be doing? In all of eternity. I mean, like, eternity is a long time to enjoy the cool, awesome things that God's prepared for us. 
but we have a choice right now. Do not be troubled because God says, I am going, this is, this is before he uh, died and rose again, to prepare a place for you. God has a place for you in heaven. Yeah, you may have to go through some adventures down here and like Frodo Baggins and Bilbo Baggins, your adventure may not be the most exciting or happy one, but in the end it will be worth it. It will be worth it because it's going to be awesome and God's preparing a place for you. I need you to believe that. I need you to believe that God's preparing a place for you. He has. He's making room for you. Think of it that way. God's making room for you. You're on his reservation list. When you, when you check in and you go past that pearly gates and you wave at St. Peter, obviously that's, we don't know if that's true or not, it's just funny. And you hey Peter, how you doing? Hey, how you doing? And he lets you in and you have um, entered into your rest. And the, uh, amazing, your reservation is secure. If your name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life, that is. Which brings me to my last final point here. Do not let your heart be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. That's Jesus. If you haven't put your, your faith in Christ, and I'm, look, I'm talking to Christians and non-Christians, because be careful, Christians, that you get complacent in your salvation. Because the Bible says, work out your salvation with fear and trembling. Yes, you, nothing can take you out of God's salvation except for you. That's a whole other subject we can get into. My point, though, is remember, you, we believe God, believe in Christ. Become little disciples of Christ, Christ-like, so that when you enter, ex I mean, when you exit this world, you'll know that your reservation is secure. And if you don't know if your reservation is secure, I invite you today to put your hope and your faith in Jesus Christ. Put your hope and faith in Jesus Christ. It's, it's about lordship. The whole thing boils down to who's the master of your life. Are you or do you give it over to God? Not to a church or to a religion or philosophy or belief system, but to a person. His name is Jesus Christ. Now that you have to work that out, right? You have to work it out. What does it, it, it look like? But instead of saying, I'm the king in my own castle, I say, I, I have dominion here, but I submit my dominion, my kingship to God's kingship, and I allow him to rule. And if I disagree, I default to what he agrees. There's some things I don't fully understand why things are the way they are, but I have to agree with God's word. And so I submit myself under his leadership to that. To that. Because I don't know what's best. He does. So I invite you, and if you need help you know, uh, in doing that, by all means, message us. Leave comments below. We'd love to pray with you. But for right now, let's pray here. Father God, we come to you in the name of Jesus. And I thank you that you're going, and you already are. You've been doing it for a while, preparing a place for us. It's so awesome. Wow. Thank you, Lord, for that. And I pray that you would give us the courage and the commitment, the bravery to not allow ourselves to be troubled, to refuse trouble at the door and say, I'm refusing it. I'm choosing joy. I'm choosing peace. I'm choosing the path of love in Jesus' name. Let me, may we be re resolute today, knowing and be encouraged by that at some point our journey will be over and I will walk in and, ex and take that my reservation at home and go, wow, you prepared something for me, personalized to me. How cool is that? And I'll be able to rejoice in it. In Jesus' name we pray, amen and amen. Hey guys, if you hung around this time, I want you to consider subscribing, hitting the notification button, joining our Undignified Collective together. This is not just me, just Chabber, and I want to create a family group where together we can tackle some of the tough issues uh, and bravely face this world together. Together being the key word. Because um, one can put a thousand for life, two can put 10,000, a, a three strong cord is not easily broken, let alone four, five, six, twenty, hundred, fifty thousand, a million. All right? Love you guys.